How you doing? Welcome to Air Rifle One Review. Um, something we haven't covered on the Air Rifle One Review yet, and uh, but I thought it occurred to me the other day it was a bit of a no-brainer. We haven't covered shooting magazines. Now, I've been reading Air Gun Shooter since uh, it was its release um, a little while back. Uh, and it's been like a breath of fresh air. I, I kind of got a bit sort of bored with the same magazines all the time, and uh, they they have sort of had some brilliant articles in. There's been some nice uh, fresh um, articles and stuff by by different people. There's some of the the old names in here as well. The good old names. Um, Matt Manning is in uh, in here quite regularly. Um, Ian Barnett, Nigel Allen, Mark Camosio. There's been some really good articles from Mark and Matt, and uh, I've really enjoyed reading it. Um, there's a few nice articles in the December issue. Um, You've got uh, a really well written one um, by Mark Camosio called Worth It's Weight, page 90. Um, it's all about pellet weights and Mark's uh, really, really done a real sort of good in-depth look into pellet, pellet weights and so on. It's a bit of an eye opener that article. Um, there's a nice one in here, one of the guys um, spoke to Mike Isaacs, um, which is one of the old FT guys who now shoots HFT. I've actually done a round um, uh, with Lee Valley with Mike, and uh, he's a good shooter, really is a good shooter, and uh, sort of guy you can really learn a lot from, so that's a good article. Um, David James done the decoy cradle on Air Gun TV, you might have seen it, or you might have seen it on his channel, Hunter's Vermin. Really good. Nigel's got that in the magazine as well. Um, what else? Ah, HFT Extreme, you might have seen my videos on the other channel. Um, I've just shot the HFT, first round of the HFT Extreme. Uh, and I've got the idea for that from this magazine. Nigel's got a nice um, article on the Pulsar. I was using one of these with Dave Wellen for Rabbit the other night, out to 150 yards. That um, digital night scope really is something else. Um, it's a nice article on that. Um, from the man himself, Nigel Allen. Uh, those are nice little workshop things. There's one here from uh, Lynn Newington, who specialises in Chinese air guns and stuff. So if you're into that, there's a nice little. This is the uh, HFT goes extreme. This is where uh, I found out about the HFT extreme thing that was on this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday was the 28th um, of November. Just in case you're watching this in six months time. Um, and then this is where I read about the format and what got me interested in it. And then me and Dave Wellen were talking about it over lunch. And uh, we ended up doing it a couple of days later. There we were. Right, uh, Bush Hunting. It's a nice article uh, about shooting um, in the woods um, for um, red, uh, grey squirrels. Um, bush Hunting. Really good article by Matt. Um, I've read quite a few of Matt's articles, I actually read one of his books recently as well. Matt's a top writer, nice guy to boot as well. And there's a good article about the uh, the red squirrel um, the red squirrel supporting gun, which is uh, Day State's limited edition rifle. They do one in order of the red squirrel. And Nigel Owen does a little... Uh, um, sort of preview or review on that and that's it there's all the usual adverts and whatnot in there but on the whole air gun shooter i've really enjoyed reading it it's been a good magazine 
Uh, and in the December edition, there's a little thing on the front where you can get yourself a mug. I don't know, it's quite sad, but I really did have to have one of these. So I got myself a, a mug for my hot chocolate and stuff. Um, on the front of the magazine, there's a little card. You just take that off, send two quid away, I think it was. And about four days later, you get one of these in the post. Jobs are good and mind you, you might not with the snow that we've got at the moment. So anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do, I get this monthly, I've got a subscription, I get this every month. So what I'm going to do, I am going to show you, I'm going to give you a little preview of the magazine when I get it, as soon as I get it. Because I'm on a subscription, I get it early in the month, uh, or the month before. Um, I got this one about... 10 days ago, two weeks ago, something like that, and this is the December edition. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little preview of the magazine for you every month, um, so that, it, you know, I can show you what articles and stuff are in there, and um, you, you can get an idea of whether the issue is going to be of any interest to you. So, there you go. Thanks for watching Air Rifle Hunter Review. I'm the Ghost Maker, signing off. Bye for now.